everything looks the same, I know. So we are back for the sunrise. The tangential of the patel. Um, this one is probably gonna confuse you the most just because there's no set angle, there's no set way to hold the IR, it, it can all vary a little bit. And a lot of it depends on the patient because they have to be interactive because they have to hold the IR this time. So I'm gonna have you scoot down. How much do we want to bend the knee? No more than 45. What happens if we overflex the knee? What happens to the patella? It gets brought down into, into what? Into that sulcus, that patellar sulcus. It brings it down in there and we can't see the patella anymore. So if we had the patient like this, we're not gonna see any joint space. So no more than 45 scoop back, just a little bit with knees here, knee here. there we go, right like that. So we do want it straight. So watch your eyes, close your eyes for a second. So we're gonna have the patient hold the image receptor. We are doing the right, I hate this pretty stuff. I don't even like to touch it because I think it's full of germs. So you're gonna hold that right like this basically. You might wanna come over here so you can actually see that. And if some of y'all need to come over here as well, I'm too tall for this. <laughs> There we go. Do we still need to have that detent on here? No, because we're not in the bucky anymore. We're essentially holding the IR. So we can move this out as we wish. I wouldn't really move the table with the patient seated. If they're unsteady, they might fall off. That's the last thing we want. So as you can see, I somebody can tell me what kind of angle I have down there. Um, so me, I might want to come around here in a minute. So I'm centered right at the patella. And I want to get your marker in the light, actually, right there. <coughs> now, this, bring your foot over just a little. Bring it in just a little bit, because I see the light is hitting it. <laughs> um, see the light hitting right there? We don't really want that necessarily. We want it hitting straight up here. Course. Bring it up just a little bit. There we go. Um, and then you can collimate down nice and tight as well. Um, this angle should ideally match the angle of this. So we'll bring that down a little bit. So we want this and this parallel, these two lines. And then we want to shoot right at the apex of the patella. This one is called the, the seated setagast. Again, there are a lot of different projections to get the patella, or to get the sunrise of the patella, I should say. Um, some of them require special equipment, as we saw. We don't have any of that. So we gotta have the patient hold it. And actual digital image receptors are a lot heavier than this. This is an old film cassette. So digital ones are gonna be a lot heavier, so you gotta really be careful with your patients, like I said earlier, that they don't drop it. We'll see how long it takes before someone gets tired of sitting and holding that. <laughs> Keep talking for a while. What she thinks. Um, any questions on this, guys? You want to hit the lights for me, Julio? There we go. That's what our tangential of the patella would look like. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.